Hello guys, welcome back. Guys, there's a lot of things going on in the crypto space regarding crypto payments and deposits. And uh, there's so many other updates, okay? Now, I'm gonna cover that uh, one by one. Mobiquik's aggregator license has been rejected by RBI. And uh, the reason is more likely because uh, Mobiquik was supporting payments for crypto exchanges. Now, there was a huge announcement that uh, Coinbase, which is one of the biggest exchange uh, in crypto space, made an announcement that Coinbase will be launching in India and uh, they also mentioned that uh, they will be supporting UPI payments which means that uh, you can buy and trade any cryptocurrencies by using UPI gateway. Now as soon as Coinbase made this announcement, within few hours, NPCI, the National Payments Corporation of India issued a statement that they are not aware of any crypto exchanges using UPI. So here Coinbase made a statement that uh, you can buy, sell, trade any cryptocurrencies by using UPI transaction. And within no time, this caught the attention of NPCI and RBI. And they're totally against this. And guys, so many of you might be thinking that uh, Wazirix and all these Indian cryptocurrency exchanges have removed UPI and uh, Mobiquik option purposely. No guys, exchanges have nothing to do with this. So once NPCI took over the situation, Coinbase again released a statement telling that users in India who are trying to buy crypto on Coinbase are being informed that the UPI payment method is currently unavailable because of the issues that we are experiencing with the UPI system. So here it states, Coinbase, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange announced its entry to India on April 7th, uh, Thursday. Thereafter, it said it will allow its users to purchase cryptocurrencies using UPI system. This landed them in trouble with National Payments Corporation of India as company came under the organization's scanner. Now immediately after all this, uh, Mobiquik Wallet has stopped all the payment services to crypto exchanges. It's not just with Wazirix, okay? They stopped the transactions with all exchanges. And uh, they took this step when NPCA released a statement on cryptocurrencies. And uh, the other news is, RBI rejects Mobiquik's payments aggregator license. Support to crypto exchanges likely reason. Guys, I don't know what is wrong with uh, RBI and banks. They are treating cryptocurrencies as if it's a 100% scam. And RBI is telling banks uh, not to do any transactions uh, with exchanges and uh, anything to do with cryptocurrencies. Now, this is actually against uh, Supreme Court order. All the exchanges fought in Supreme Court and uh, the ruling came in favor of crypto exchanges. Supreme Court told that uh, banks should provide payment services to crypto exchanges in terms of deposits and withdrawals. And uh, it's been so long and forget about deposits. They are removing all the options that are available now. And until now, there was an option to deposit money to exchanges using Kotak Mahindra Bank. Now they stopped uh, this one also. And guys, uh, there's no need to worry, okay? You can either use a P2P option or the net banking option to deposit funds uh, to your exchanges. And uh, so many of you are asking in the comment section that uh, what if exchanges stops all the withdrawals? No guys, there's no need to worry, okay? Withdrawals will not stop. Guys, now what do you think of this situation and uh, why do you think uh, banks and RBI is doing all this? Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. And guys, if you want crypto signals or uh, crypto related stuff, then make sure you follow me on Telegram and Twitter. I'm gonna leave all the social media links uh, in the description of this video. Now, please do drop a like on this video and uh, in case if you are looking to make money online by doing cryptocurrencies, then you are on the right spot. So, consider subscribing. Now, if you are a subscriber, I am going to meet you on the next video. Until then, a peace.